We're using new laser scanning technology to take photographs but also measurements that maps out a 3D model of the substations. From that information we can then identify assets um, and, and do an audit of all the nameplates and asset management sort of information. There's a few reasons why we're scanning the equipment. Firstly, by creating a digital model of our equipment, it minimises the need to actually access um, these high voltage areas. So it makes it safer for staff and contractors. Secondly, with high accuracy scans, it can help us do engineering designs from the office and minimise field trips and also plan for future upgrades, making sure equipment fits indoors, what equipment has to be decommissioned, what equipment's coming in. And thirdly, we're looking at creating virtual reality models of the buildings and we can use that for stakeholder engagement, for clash detection and also engineering design reviews. We're looking to do a holistic capture across the zone subs on the network. And the ultimate aim there is to open that up to sort of everybody in the, within the business. So not only asset management or engineering, but anybody or any business unit within the business that wants access to that information, rather than having to come down, sort of put PPE on, get access to an area, there might be construction going on. Straight away, they can just log onto their computer, similar to Google Earth or Street View, bring up the site um, and do what they need to do to do their job better. So whether that's taking a measurement, looking at the condition of an asset, or sort of planning for future works. We scan, and then we create sort of a virtual world. Uh, probably not doing Minecraft just yet, um, but what we are exploring is whether we can use it for online inductions and training. So again, to help uh, induct people into dangerous areas, um, show them hazards, but also sort of on, ongoing induction programs. So rather than sitting down, doing a textbook exam, ticking the boxes, we can actually use these 3D worlds to essentially walk people through the environment, um, get them to interact with the equipment um, prior to ever being on site. The adoption of new technology is critical at the moment to help us keep up to date with the way we design and upgrade the network. The reason why we don't just keep on doing it the same way, same way we have for 50 years is I guess the world's changing around us and there's an expectation to keep costs down, to be more productive, more efficient, do more with less. So adopting new technology helps with that paradigm, ensuring that we can still keep high quality engineering outcomes, community engagement, keep the costs under control.